If we take a look to the left. There's a shotgun messiah factory right there as well. Greetings everybody and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 17 Stable! We are now on episode 29 of our holiday series guys. So in the last episode we managed to clear out a massive Victorian house for the trader um, and we managed to get a, uh, an AK-47 as a reward. We sold it straight back to the trader however because I'd rather take the coins. Now uh, the traders have restocked so I'm just going to check this guy to see if he has any steel on him because that's what we really need to get ourselves the, uh, the motorbike. It requires some steel so hopefully he might have some but knowing my luck, and of course, knowing my luck, he does not have any steel whatsoever. Bring in. Uh, Stupid trader, I want steel! Why do you not sell steel? You suck! I really need it! God damn it! Friggin'. Ah! Never mind. Well, let's see what he has in the secret stash. You never know, he could have some good stuff. Oh, yeah, he has night vision goggles. Uh, these night vision goggles provide a little face protection, but probably don't work anymore. Hmm, well, apparently these do work still, even though they say, um, even, even though it says they don't work. Um. Also got some very good steel um, steel chest armor here as well. That could be a good little one to invest in. Let's do that. Because um, I think that is going to be better than my current chest armor, which is... I think I've got military on my chest. I'm not sure. Let me see. Um, no, I have, I have steel on my chest here as well. That's even better. So that means, essentially, we can go ahead and modify this one. We can take off uh, this guy. Then we can wear. Then we can modify this one and add that for faster reloads then I can wear that and then to this guy I can then sell this guy back to him and sell that as well there we go so we'll sell those guys back uh, oh yeah you can have the mechanical parts as well I don't uh, I don't have any particular need of those right now because we can't build a bike anyway so yeah no no need for those mechanical parts as it currently stands and then um, he doesn't have any other mods on him really does he he's got a military helmet you know what, I'll buy some night vision goggles. I'll see, I'll see if these work. I just want, I'll be interested to see if it does. If I wear these. Oh, they do work. However, the mining helmet, I think, um, the mining helmet um, also activates with them, I think. Hang on. So let me go and see if I can turn, um, if I take off the mining helmet a sec. What's it like without? Okay, it looks very similar. So yeah, maybe now we can use some night vision goggles to, uh, to, to travel through to different areas. So what I might do now is, now that we've got these, um, okay, he's got no jobs, that's fine. Uh, let me sell the mining helmet back to him, because um, I don't want this anymore. I'll sell you that back, um, and then we do have a little bit more money for a... We do have a little bit more money now for the military helmet that, we was, that he was stocking, so we're going to take this one back. There we go. And that's a quality 3 one, and we can use that. There we go. So I'll wear those. Oh, wait, did I just sell it back? I did, didn't I? God damn it. Um, why do I do that? Right. Buy this. Right. There you go. And then wear it. So unfortunately, just uh, wasting a little bit of money there. But, you know, these things happen. <laughs> they, they would happen to me, wouldn't they? So, yeah, now we've got the lucky goggles, which is um, good for loot bonus. But what we could do is keep these with us now, and then we can go ahead and, when, when we're clearing out POIs at night, we can use those, uh, we can use those to, like... You know, get a bit of uh, a vision on the place, but then we can use the other goggles after we've cleared out POI to then go and loot, which I think is going to be a really good thing to do. So, what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to go ahead and head to the uh, the courthouse. Now, I think this is one that we already did clear. I have a feeling it's the one we already did before um, that I did with you guys without any questing. So, I think that's where we're going to have to end up going. But I want to see about. Uh, oh wow. Okay, this uh, this guy's really struggling on the bike, isn't he? Okay, let's go and drop down here. Can't, can't see a thing through here. There we go. We can come through here. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and clear the courthouse. There, that's our old base. Love it. Lo I love coming past our old, old little contraptions and just seeing how well they worked. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and make our way past um, to the courthouse. I think I know which one it is. It's probably exactly the same one that we did the last time. But this time we're going to blitz run through it. We might find some more ferals and radiators, um, but it will reset the loot for us as well, which is going to be very handy. So I'm ha I have a feeling it's the one in the snow biome over here that we're going to go to. So yeah, I know I, d I don't really want to do these in too quick succession, but, you know, it's worth doing. It's worth doing because, you know, good rewards from the trader. Plus it's a POI we already know as well. That's that's another handy thing. And there's some gun safes in here that will reset when we go ahead and start this again. So it's looking like this courthouse is going to be a good little, uh, good little place to go. 
So let's go through the snowy wastes and let's see if we can find this courthouse. It's not too far from here. And we are out of gas, but there's the courthouse right there. Um, okay, let's go and refuel the bike real quick. Uh, one for you. There we go. And off we go. All right, so let's go find the courthouse. Where do we go in? I think we go in the back, don't we? So let's head to the rally point. So yeah, we did do this one before, but this time we're gonna blitz it. We're gonna we're gonna run we're gonna rush through it with our night visions, and then we're gonna go ahead and take off the uh, we're gonna take out the zombies later. So let's go and refresh it. There we go. Bike didn't despawn. Excellent. Let's do it. Right. So we're gonna run. We're we're pretty much gonna like try and rush this one, and see how we go. Um, so straight over here, we can get the chairs up as well, and we'll do we'll do any proper looting towards the end. I'll open up like doorways and stuff. Just so we have them, uh, just so we have them open for later. Uh, no sleepers in here. There's pallets in here though, so I will get, go and grab those. So there is a dude just over there. Let's go and take you down first. There we go. And oh, this is a feral Hawaiian dude. There we go. So already we've got a um, got a feral Hawaiian coming. There we go. So we can take this guy down. Super believe. Okay. There you go. So he's down. Let's go and cure myself here really quickly. There we go. I run back in here. Wow, a feral Hawaiian straight away. Straight away we had a feral Hawaiian. And a footballer. There we go, those guys are down. Alright, so... Wow, that took me down to 72 health. Wow. So they uh, they pretty much ripped through my HP straight away. Um, I think the Lumberjack's going to follow me down in here, isn't he? Uh, yes, he is. So you can go straight down. I don't want you getting in my way. There we go. Right, so we do have pain pills and stuff if we need to use them. Um, I'll probably use one set right now. Um, and then we do have a shotgun here as well. I might... Um, actually, no, we got the SMG. If we run into loads of trouble, we have the SMG. So that's uh, that's handy. Uh, let's go and use this. Get my hydration up again, because the uh, thing is are going to sap that sap that a bit. And we can eat the steak and potato meal for some additional health. There we go. Right. So that's everything through here. This bit's looted. Let's open up this door here, because I know there's a gun safe behind here. Uh, I don't know if there's sleepers in here, but there's a gun safe and a couple of things that we can come back later and grab. Okay, now we'll grab all the chairs as well. So I'll, anything I can just pick up, I'll grab, but anything we need to loot, um, I'll go and do that separately. So, so we got that guy, he can get down. And we got a nurse, so she, you can get out of here too. There you go, she has been taken down. And we also have this door here. And I think this is just like an empty room in the backpack, isn't it? Yep. Just an empty room in the bag. Nothing too much in there. So we've got this dude. And this dude. No, you don't. You ain't getting me this time. Not today. I need to heal first. You can get you can come get me later, but right now I need to heal. Right, so then we got loads in this prison section. Right, he's feral. Uh I wanna double check. Right. Right, so you can go straight down. There we go. And we can get this guy. There we go, straight away. Very nice. Uh, right, this guy's coming out. And we can kill you straight up. There we go. Oh, spider. Okay. Spider made me bleed, Maiden. Okay. There you go, spider's out. Nurse is out. And then we just have this builder to deal with here. So let me go ahead and get a headshot on you and finish you off. Why are you still going? Okay. There you go. Now you're now you're down. Right there we go. So these guys are finished, and we can go ahead and uh, pretty much we're gonna we're gonna blitz this place. We're gonna we're gonna run through it. We're gonna blitz a lot, clear out everything we can. Uh, there's another chair right there. So we will get tons of leather from here as well, which is another good thing about this place. You get a lot of leather from taking up the chairs. Um, right. So now through here. Uh, anyone under here? Nope. Okay. I'll we'll get another airdrop. Nice. All right. So up a level. Here we go. Grab all these. Loads of uh, loads of chairs in this little courtroom section. Go and smash all the pictures as well, just in case there's anything behind them. Doesn't look like it. Oh, feral business dude. Right, knock him back. Oh, a load of footballers. Loads of footballers. There you go. Oh god, loads of footballers. Come on, get back. Right, there's one. There's two. There's three. Right, you dead? Yep, you're dead. Cool. So many footballers here. Okay, let's go and kill you. And we level up. Nice. So what we're going to put our point into now. I think next thing we should do 
is first, well first thing we should do is close that door next thing we should do i think is put one into yeah we should start going up the heavy armor tree so increase our durability and uh protection value because it seems that even with heavy armor right now we're still getting pretty crippled um so let's go run through this courtroom see what we can find in here i think there's usually another sleeper up there last time there was one up here nope not this time okay we'll grab that anyway so come around this side all right now we're in here let's grab that nothing else through here and let's go through here so this is the security check-in section uh which we are good to just run through no one in here right i think there's usually i think there's usually a sleeper around this side sometimes no piece junk why am i oh feral business dude right knock you out there you go you gotta watch out for these feral business dudes right nurse you can get down get out of it yeah, sometimes blitz running these places is very fun. Um, right, so... Oh! Hello. So you're a feral as well. Oh, and a feral... Okay, nope. Nothing for it. Nothing for it. Oh, no, 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 no! I can't... Oh, I couldn't equip the thing in time! I couldn't equip the thing in time! God dang it! I was pressing every button under the sun to try to equip this thing, and I couldn't, and they got me. Of course, I got surrounded in a friggin' room, didn't I? And that means I failed the quest. <laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens. I really hate it when that happens. I hate when you die, you just auto-fail. It sucks. And now we have the death buff again! Yay! Yay, this sucks. Alright, well, let me go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to run back and get my, uh, get my stuff. But actually, I'll tell you what, let me head back to the trader first. We'll get a quest from him, um, and I'll meet you guys once I'm back at the trader. So, I'll be back in just a bit. Alrighty guys, I'm back to try and get my bag back, and already this feral Hawaiian dude is after me, so I need to run through here, see if we can really quickly get my bag, and then we're going to have to try and take this guy on. Right, there we go. See, now I get the SMG that I need. Oh, and there's another feral right here as well, so let's go and uh, finish this one off really quickly. Oh, okay, jump over there, go past this way. Right, we got our bag back at least, which is a good thing, so we got a couple of ferals that we got to deal with. There you go, it's not going down. Yeah, unfortunately that feral Hawaiian was uh, not doing too well for me right there. Right. There you go, let's try and avoid this guy, because he will uh, kill me very quickly. Right, let's get you guys down as well. Right, we managed to get our bag back at least, but unfortunately we failed the quest, um, which means we cannot uh, continue. Uh, right, so this guy is... Oh god, okay, he's down. Alright, finally got this guy down, and he is down as well. Okay, so there we go, we managed to, kill, managed to finally kill these guys uh, and get through. However, um, we have failed the quest, but what I'm going to do is even though we have failed the quest, I'm going to continue on. Um, I don't even know where we, were, where we would have meant to be going from here. But even though we did fail the quest, I'm going to continue on because even though we have failed, it's reset the POI, right? So that means there's going to be some stuff at the top. Now, I did check on my mini bike. Uh, well, as far as I was, as far as I said, it was still here. Yes, it is. It's still here. So we haven't lost our mini bike this time, which is a good thing. But we're going to go ahead and continue through here, and we may as well just take everything. Um, I'm only going to get the loot right at the end this time, uh, rather than absolutely everything. Um, okay, so we've got a, a running guy here. Okay, so we're going to have to take on the uh, right. Let's run back this way and jump back through here. To see if we can get the the running guy out first. There we go. We can knock him down. The football is a very tough here. Okay. Makes it very nice and easy to see, but yeah, I want to go and see if we can um, at least finish this off. Honestly, dying sucks in this game. There you go, let's knock you back, stupid, stupid Hawaiian guy. Come here, you. But yeah, I decided we're only going to go for the loot right at the end. Um, and then that's kind of going to be where we kind of call it, I think. So we'll go for the loot right at the end of this place. God, so, honestly, though, so much death is ridiculous. All right, can I come through here? No, we need to hack through one more. What is in here anyway? Just some chairs. So I'm going to go pick up stuff, but I won't go and loot everything. I will just go ahead and go for the end. All right, so at least with the night vision, though, it makes it nice and bright, so we can see we can see very clearly with this. This is awesome. Um, okay, so we're going to go up here, up and over here. There's a business dude over there who's just, like, ambling around the corner. Oh, yes! Yeah, smash his face in. This guy is going down. You're going down, son. Right, come on, you. There you go. Okay, and we got this one over here as well. I think you're a feral. But now you're dead, so it doesn't matter. All right. But yeah, the, other, the only other thing is it's harder to tell which ones are feral and which ones are not um, with these uh, with these goggles. But it does make it a lot brighter and easier to see. So this is going to be really good for night raiding. This is going to be very, very good for night raiding. It, it completely makes your vision much better. I, th I think this is actually better than the A16's one. 
Like, it's much, much clearer here. So I'm, I'm happy with the night vision. I'm really happy with those. Um, right, that's down to the left, which doesn't really lead to... I think all that leads to is the bag, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, right, is there anything? I'll look for potential safes and stuff. Um, other than that, though, I'm not too worried. Oh, yeah, bookshelves actually will have magazines we can sell. So I will always search these, just in case. Because those things will be worth selling. But yeah, I did get a new quest from the trader. Unfortunately, the nearest one was like 3k away. So nothing really we can do about that. So let's go ahead and continue up the stairs. And we'll go from here. Okay. Let's keep an eye on our stamina as we go. And here we are. So one Hawaiian dude right there. Right. Make sure none are radiated. Okay. Okay. We do have a couple of footballers. Right. So we'll come down here. Okay. Ouch. Okay. Let's come back this way. Well, we can fight them a bit easier. There we go. Right, come on. God, even the Spike Club is, like, doing nothing to them. Oh. Okay, let's jump around you here. Let's run this way. Right, come on, then. And... Come on. Come on, melee. You need to hit when I say hit. All right. All right, now you can go up here. Okay, there's lots of Zeds around here. But now we've got the Hawaiian guy to deal with as well. Right. You can die straight away. And you can die as well. There we go. Right, those guys have been dealt with. Let's move along. See what else we can find up here. So there is a lady just here. Which I can get straight away. Right, so we might end up finding some radiated ones pretty soon, but we'll see. Let's keep moving through. There's this guy who is just a normal one. So as long as they're not feral, we're good. All right, and this is to the roof. So this is where the good loot is. Let's go and let's go and see what we can find. Right, any radiators? Uh, yes, I see green glowy. I see green and glowy. Oh, it's the radiators army dude as well. As far as I remember, these guys are unkillable. Um, let's see. Did we kill him? Nope, he's getting up again. Okay, let's reload that. Okay, yeah, as far as I'm aware, these guys are unkillable. Um, which, if they are, that's going to suck. Okay, so you can die. Okay, oh no, they are killable. Okay, they fixed it. Nice. I was, I was going to say, I was, I, was, I was thinking, yeah, this, this guy is not going to be able to be killed. But there we go. Those guys are dead. SMG saw those guys right out. Oh, yes, right in the face. And there we go, we got to the good loot again. So let's go and loot it. Hopefully we've got something good here. Oh, okay, AK. I'll, I think I'll scrap that for the rounds rather than keep that. Come over, we can sell. Right, Xiaomi box had nothing good in it. This box had water in it. Okay, still nothing good. Pumpville's box, probably yards, I'm guessing. Nope, plastic's even worse. Chuck and Messiah box had another AK. So we're finding loads of AKs in here now, which is good. And then, of course, we have this uh, box to break through here as well. Uh, but luckily now, we can break through this relatively quickly. So that should be all good. Let's go and break through here. So yeah, doing 150 damage per swing, so we're getting through these a lot faster now. Hopefully this wall actually has something good in it, because I know a lot of times it never really does. So hopefully it will. Okay. Now, what do we have in here? We have ourselves a pistol, this, two layers, and those to scrap. And that's it. All right. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to loot in this place, then, because we had to reset it, the only other thing I want to loot is the gun safe, which is um, just down here. And we'll go and loot that one, and that's it. God, I can't believe I couldn't get my SMG out in time. That, that was a sucky thing. If I'd have got that out, I might have saved myself. Might have saved myself, but still. There you go. These things, these things happen to me. <laughs> these things always seem to happen to me. All right. So now I've got a gun safe down here. Let's go have a quick look in here. Hopefully something good. But yeah, I mean, what do you expect? It's a tier 4 quest. It's going to be difficult. So... Yeah, many deaths have, have happened in these later episodes. So yeah, the, the difficulty does definitely ramp up. Like, you get a lot more runners. Um, and it definitely feels like I need to invest more points into my skills. All right, what have we got in here? So this had... Oh, a tempered blade. What does that do? Uh, increases damage and increases durability for blades. Nice, I'll take that. What else have we got? Uh, an ergonomic grip. Increase, uh, decreases melee sound use by 10% and increases weapon, uh, hand, uh, weapon handling of bows by 10%. Nice. 
That's really good. Okay, I'll take those. And so, can I put the ergonomic grip on this? Hang on, modify um, and add that to it. Um, oh, I guess I can. Oh, I've got, already got the fortifying grip on that one. Maybe I can add it on this one. Modify. That'll be better than that. There you go. Er ergonomic grip on that. Because that'll be, that'll be much better. So, yeah, ergonomic grip means that I will end up using less stamina for uh, using this tool, which is really, really good. Less stamina use is always a plus. All right. Well, I think um, we still have a little bit to go. I need to repair this bike. Look, it's on fire. Look at this. Hang on. Uh, can I repair that? There you go. Yeah, my bike was on fire. Damn. Um, don't, want that, don't want that getting destroyed. So now we've got a couple of other quests. And uh, unfortunately, really, really far away. Um, so we're going to go and head, and head to one of them. If I can find where one may be. Um, so we have one directly to the east. And we have one to the northwest. Okay, so the northwest one... Is that in a place we know, or is this a bit further out? Okay, it looks like there's one really far out here. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to go ahead and drive for the one for the northwest. Now, it's really, really far away, which is going to be very, very tricky. However, there could be... I'm not sure what it's going to send us to. I think it was the waterworks, and I know we've done the waterworks already, but now that the zombies are tougher, it's going to be much more tricky to clear to clear it out, right? So it's going to be a little bit more fun. Plus, we're going to do it at night, and we're going to see if we can go sneaky mode, because um, that's going to be really, really cool if we can. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, travel a very, very long distance, uh, and we're going to see if we can come back for the waterworks, and hopefully we're going to find something in there. So I'll be back, guys, in a little while, and we can go and see if... We can complete this next quest. I really want to see if we can complete another one. So bear with me, and I'll be back in just a bit. Alrighty, guys. I am here at the waterworks. However, this is not the reason why I'm so happy to be here. If we take a look to the left... There's a shotgun Messiah factory right there as well. I'm so glad I came out here. That is going to be amazing, guys. So yeah, there's a uh, shotgun Messiah factory as well as the uh, as well as the waterworks place as well. Uh, there's actually two waterworks actually. Is, is this one I'm meant to go to? Not that, not this one right here. But I wanted to um, I wanted to go ahead and show you that one um, just so you guys can see that there is uh, in fact both um, both places right here, which is really really good. So oh my god, this this place uh, this wasteland town is uh, this there's three waterworks buildings in this town alone um which is something kind of extraordinary actually actually there might even be four uh but yeah this place has a uh yeah i think there's one over there as well i think that i think this place is yeah there's one over there there is a i think there's one over there no that's now base there there's now base there and now base there two waterworks here one over there one back over there and a shotgun messiah factory all in the space of this tiny town um and yeah, this is uh, this honestly is absolutely amazing. But we got our night vision, and this is the uh, this is the place that we have been tasked to uh, to go ahead and clear. So uh, this one is where we're going to be going. Now we're going to be doing this one by night. Uh, so hopefully we're not going to die. Uh, that's the uh, that that's the concern, of course, because you know there's uh, seems like uh, seems like right now we're having the death a day or something. It's like a, a death a day keeps the keeps the bigger hordes away, you know, it's, it's something like that. But yeah, honestly, we've wasted so much time just like traveling to and from places um, to overcome to overcome the death. But there we go. We're gonna have to see what we got here. So this is the uh, the tier four fetch quest. We have to find the uh, we have to find the stuff we need. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and get started here. And it's just a good thing we've got night vision goggles to take us around. So the way I'm going to do this is we're going to go ahead and do... Um, right, it already sounds like something's awake. Um, I, heard, I heard something then, just like running around. I don't know where it is. But yeah, this is the um, this is the one I want to do. So we're going to go ahead and pretty much only loot stuff that's kind of relevant. Everything else I'm not too worried about. But I know for a fact there are some boxes in here. Um, oh, and there's a vulture right there as well. There you go. So there's uh, vultures in here. Um, and there's a box straight down here as well. Uh, oh, this guy is now coming up. So as soon as he comes up here. Um, it's night time. All right, come off here. I'll go, I'll go finish you off when you come up here. Nice. Right, he's down. Because um, there is immediately right in here, there is a box uh, straight down here. So where is this one? But it's always worth having a look. See what we get. Okay, nothing much in there. Uh, it looks like there are some more Zeds that are approaching me right now as well. Uh, there's this guy as well. Okay, so I don't know if he's a normal or if he's a feral. But took uh, took a couple of hits to get these guys out of the way. Oh, come on. Can't hit this guy to save my life. There we go. There we go. Get this guy down as well. Okay, so they've done a little bit of damage to me, but we're doing all right so far. 
Right, so there is another one coming up this way as well. Putrid girl! Okay. Nice, there we go, she's down as well. Very good. Yeah, this is going to make it, like, super, super easy to see. Um, well, we got to be looting. I think we're getting a Wandering Horde coming through here. Right, hang on. This guy has got to go as well. Okay. Okay, oh god, there's lots of them here. Why are there so many Zeds? I don't know. Oh god! This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Right, jump off here. Right, duck, 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 duck. Okay, we've broken our leg already. We're after a terrible start right here. I think a Wandering Horde must have come through the area or something. Um, I'm going to have to see if I can pick these guys off with a bow. Oh, we're going super slow right now. If I get caught, if I get caught, I'm going I'm dead already. Okay. So let's see. Uh, so yeah, luckily I kind of went over the gate here. So let's go and see if we can make our way along. Man, this is as fast as I can move with a broken leg. I need to find duct tape or make a splint, like, now. I might have something uh, I can use. Hang on. Nope, I don't even have anything I can use right now. So, we now have a uh, cripple with a broken leg. I don't know where all these guys came from. They literally just all ran out. I don't know if they came from the top or if they came from somewhere else. Right, here we go. Right, so this guy can die. There you go. Right, he can go. Right, so there's one of them. Okay, one of them fell off. Okay. So, yeah, luck luckily for me, I managed to... Although I broke my leg and fell off and hurt myself, at least I'm away from the Zeds. Okay, so already we're off to a tough start. Bro broken leg and everything, we're off to a tough start. Don't know how long broken legs last. Don't even know where these guys are. Hang on. How long does this broken leg actually last? Probably like half an hour or something, right? 58 minutes! Really? 58 minutes! Oh, god damn. Okay, right, he's dead. Right, so one business dude is out there. Can't believe we got like an army dude as well though. That was that was crazy. Like why we got an army dude, I have no idea. Um right, so here is right, I see the big lady back down here. Uh is that the big lady? Oh, yeah, there you are. Okay. Let's try not to attract her too much. Okay, uh oh. This one sees me. Right, she's dead. There we go. Oh, and a biker as well, ready? Okay. Oh, and an egger. Okay, they've all, they've all found me. Right, you can get down. You can get down. You can get down. Okay, Feral Builder. There we go. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. There we go, got it. Whew! Use that. Oh, okay. Lucky, and then use the pain pill as well. Get my health back. Man, we're already having a rough time. Broken leg and everything. I'm not ready for this place, am I? I'm really not ready for this place. But, luckily we do have Night Vision, which is going to be very handy. Don't even know where these guys came from. They literally just, like came up from here. I'm going to see if we can get lucky and maybe find some duct tape though. That would be handy if we do. Um, we really need duct tape like now. If it, as soon as I find some of that we'll be fine. Um, but we don't have any splints or anything to use. There was a bit of junk here though. If we get very lucky maybe we'll have a bit we can use here. Nope. Nothing in there. I'm so glad we got the night vision though. Um, that is going to be really really handy. Okay let's go and jump up here. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to take this very, very slowly. This is the fastest I can move right now. Um, okay, we're going to need to duck here. I think that's going to drop, isn't it? There we go, right, we're in. Right, so we're over this side. And hopefully we can find... Okay, we're finding pain pills, which is handy. Although, that's not really what I need. I need duct tape, like, now. Um, so if I turn this off, does it reduce... Yeah, night vision doesn't increase your... Um... Yeah, okay, so night vision does not increase the... Uh... The visibility, which is really, really good. So now I can go ahead and sneak along here. So we're going to have to go so, so carefully through this place. We are... This is this is bad. Like, this is bad. Like, I can't believe how bad this is going to turn out to be. Honestly. Right, anything in here? Uh, pain pills. We got a uh, living off the land magazine. That's been pretty good. All right. Let's go ahead and head through here then. And see what kind of luck we're going to have in this place. So there's some junk right there, which doesn't have anything in. Okay. Uh, right. So it doesn't let there's any sleepers here, which is fine. So I think all the sleepers that were here, we've kind of already emptied them out. So we shouldn't have to worry too much. I don't hear any, like, sleeper noises either. So we should be good. Right, let's go and grab that. Man, these night vision, though, are so much clearer now. This is so much better than they used to be. Uh, what have we got in here? Nothing. Come on, I need duct tape. I really need duct tape or glue or something. Something to make duct tape with. Come on, I need I need something. You guys got to help me out here. Come on. Okay. Because there's no way I can make there's no way I can make that jump right there. 
with a broken leg, is there? Uh, can I make some frames? Do I have wood on me? Yeah, I can make some frames. Uh, let's go and make some of those. Forward frames, that should do. Uh, let's go and use that. And let's go and put some here. And then we're going to put one there. And I can make my, make my way across to here. And what's in this bag? Nothing. But this will give me cloth, which I will need for a splint later anyway. So we're going to go ahead and use that. Okay, so this now leads us to a lower level. Which hopefully does not contain any more sleepers. We will soon find out, though. I'm sure we will soon find out whether it does or not. Okay, so I don't see any in this little area, so we should be okay. Uh, but yeah, things are going to get tougher. There's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of places where sleepers are. So this is where we need to go. Let's just check that there's no. I really, really, really could use some glue right now. I really could use some. If I could slip my leg, that'd be great. Uh, there's oil. Not what I want, but that's it's good, but it's not what I want. Okay, so let's go around here and grab this one as well. Uh, what have we got here? I can. Yeah, have we actually leveled up yet? I wonder. We do not have a skill point to spend yet. Okay, so we're, we're close though. We can kill a couple more. We have a skill point to spend. Uh, I might have to get a, uh, a ninja movements one or from the shadows or something just to help us uh, hide more effectively because it seems like the ferals are just very easily spotting us wherever we go right now. So yeah, you got to be super careful with that. Um, okay, nothing good in there really. Good bit of cash, but I'm not too worried about that. So let's go ahead and make our way along here. Okay, so sneaking along the stone gets up to four. All right, so we're gonna have to be super careful here. We are, yeah, we are, we are gonna die pretty easily, I think. So a broken leg, I think that gets your strength down, doesn't it? Yeah, that. Oh, that gets your fortitude down as well. Damn. Um, and it gets your okay, it gets fortitude down, and it gets oh, it gets agility down as well. So fortitude and agility both take a hit. God, take a hit. They give a hit. And pain tolerance also goes down as well. Damn. Okay, so that means that we're gonna have to be we're more susceptible to stuns now as well. Then okay. Interesting. Right, so now we got to go down here. Let's see, right there is one sleeper right there. Okay. Right, you can stop whacking stuff now. Okay, where's he going? Right, he's going to run up here, isn't he? There we go, we got him. Oh, he's a feral as well. There we go. Okay, Feral Sleeper has been taken out. There we go. So there's one. Now, there are any more? That's the question. So here's, here's the Feral. See, we're finding a lot of Ferals now. Like, not just a couple of Ferals. We're finding loads of them. Like, it was at a point where there was, like, a couple. But now it's just like, yeah, there's one guy here as well. That I don't know if you're normal or Feral. You look normal, so you should be fine. There you go. So you're normal. And we're leveled up. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Move up, move up, move up. Move up and out, move up and out. Fast as we can go right here. Okay, where's he going? Right, he's coming up. Okay, up and out, up and out. Okay. So yeah, he doesn't know where we are now, so we should be able to go ahead and get a shot into him. Okay, I think you're a feral as well, aren't you? Yeah, I think he's feral too. Yep. You are feral, I think. Okay, right, we're good. We're good. He got he got a hit on us, but we're good. Uh oh. Okay, you're you're good as well. Ready a bleed again. Wow, okay, use this. I'm out of bandages, aren't I? Oh no, wait, they're here. Okay. Well I use my first aid one, because I need to get my health back pretty much straight away. Yeah, I've got I've got no time to be messing around now. Like this is not the best situation to be in, it's pretty deadly. Um So hopefully we might find some kind of glue. Or something in here. But yeah, opening these lockers is very, very noisy as well, which you've got to be a little bit careful of. Okay, there you go. Um, yeah, the sneak meter acts really, really weirdly because um, it will it will it will stay like at a higher value for whatever reason, and then it will finally go lower. It's it's really odd. Okay, so that bit has been opened already. There's an arrow there. We can take that back. Uh, what's in here? Come on. Be some glue. I really need to heal my leg. If because otherwise, otherwise you can tell it's gonna happen. I'm gonna get surrounded. Not gonna be able to heal my leg. That's it. Uh, right, football helmet. I can scrap those. Can scrap this as well. Oh, of all the times I need a splint. Of all the times I need a splint, it had to be when I'm really far away. That's typical. Typical of the game of throwing me a curveball like that. 
Okay. In the sink, what's in here? Uh, we have some acid. I'll take the acid. Could be handy. We're not going to find glue in here, are we? And I don't, I don't exactly have a cooking pot to make any either, so something we're going to have to deal with. Okay. Right, so through to the next room, guys. Through to the next one. But yeah, looting by night is deadly. Like, really deadly. Especially in this. Uh, especially in this. Uh, right, so this one opens up. Is there any... Oh, yes, there is. Right, he's down. Okay, so sneaky builder attack. But he failed. Okay, what's this? A hey, work is this uh work is this supply box? Okay, let's open that. Anything in here? We have nails. Oh repair kits, I will take those. And we've got another cardboard box here. Some nine mil rounds. Okay, so nothing great, but something. It's something though, so we'll we'll take it. May as well give it a give it a look. Alright, so where are we going now? We need to go this way. Right, here we go. Right, this is where things start picking up. So we're gonna have to be a little bit careful here. Oh god. What was that? That sounded like a lot of sleepers. That sounded like a lot of sleepers. I just said, bam, 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 bam. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Right, what have we got in here? So let's go and keep a very careful out for any that could be in this area. There is one down there. I need to be able to get to him. Now let me kind of edge along here. Because you can't shoot through the railings, which is stupid. Um, I don't think, anyway. Nope. And of course that wakes him up. But then again I can get a shot on him. Okay. Close that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, oh we're out. And this guy had to be Oh come on. Hit it, hit it. Okay, we're good. Whew! Okay, there we go. Right, we should heal off some of the damage over time anyway, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, fortitude and agility going down is definitely a uh, definitely a problem. Why is our sounder at 103? That's really weird. Okay, let me eat one of those. That'll probably... Oh, I, I guess it raises slowly over time again. Oh, I see. I, th I think it must raise slowly over time. I was going to say, it's like 103. That's a weird value for stamina. No, that's, a, that's a really weird value for your stamina to be at. Like, I've, I've never seen that happen. But I guess as the buff wears off, it will go ahead and... It's more of an overtime thing, so it gradually raises up again. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I was, I was wondering, I was like, 103? 103? Are you, are you serious? Right, let's go and duck under these. <laughs> you can kind of glitch under these. This is great. Uh, right, what have we got in here? Uh, oil? Okay, well, oil is good, but I really need glue. I really want to really splint. I really want to splint. I did not come best prepared for this area, and now I'm regretting it. Okay, here we go. Right, now we're going to come up here. And then this is going to lead us over this way. Okay, so we're moving a little bit faster now, but not much faster. A little bit, though. A little bit is better than nothing. Okay, so this door has not been opened, so we're probably going to go and encounter some new sleepers in this area. Right, clubs at the ready. Oh, I already hear movement. I already hear movement. Hmm. Now there are landmines in this section, so you've got to be careful. Yeah, this this is the bit that's um this is the bit that has like loads of zombies in it. Okay. Corn seeds. Okay. So I don't know if we're gonna get loads this time or not. Okay. Well as soon as this guy comes out here and breaks through. Right, there we go. Then they move on. Why does he go why does he break that one then go over here? It's like just break the bottom one. This guy clearly does not know what he's doing. Hmm, okay, well I'll help him out. There we go. And he goes that way. The hell? Yeah, this makes no sense. Yeah, this bit they struggle with. Sees the zombies in the water path thing is uh, a big struggle. Okay. Well, let's go sneaking along here. I'll see if I can. I'll see if I can pick him off here. Last thing I need is to fall in the water, though. There you go. Right. Where's he gonna run now? Okay. I think this one breaks. Okay. Yeah. There's loads of them here. 
Yeah, these guys can't get out yet, so we're pretty good. Oh, it turned it into a regular one. Okay. Because I, I, there's no way I'll be able to jump that gap. Yeah, they're flooding this entire lower section here. I guess that's why the water physics kind of like mess up their pathing, and they then it then kind of like messes it up. So I think we're going to have to wait for these guys just to break out and go from there. So where are they going now? Just trying, just trying to like follow their movements to see what they're trying to do. Okay. So if they go up the end here, I might be able to pick them off. Although, I'm not too sure. Let's see if they come down here. Or are they going to break up here now? I don't know, but yeah, they flooded this lower section here. I think it's pretty cool how it floods, though. Yeah, now that they're breaking through something else now. I'm not quite sure what they're going through. Okay. Don't know if this one is going to break. No, it doesn't. Okay, this one does not break. Okay. Very, very quiet now. Okay, so where have they broken out? They've gone... It's like they've gone a different way. But we've got to go straight across and up here. I could just go across this pipe, I guess. But then we kind of need to go this way anyway, so... Yeah, I can't get across here. I can't get across here. I could take a bit of a shortcut, though. Try a bit of a sneaky shortcut and go this way. Which could potentially work. Oh, there we go. There they are. Right, we can pick them off here now. There you go. We can try and pick some of these guys off here. There you go. This will do. Let's finish them off nicely. There you go. We'll, let, we'll lay a load of arrows into these guys. Probably the easiest point to finish them off from right here. Okay. They're trying to... They're trying to break through somewhere. Right, yeah, that one's feral. Yeah, some of them are feral, some of them are normal. I think we got one feral followed by, like, a few normal ones. There you go, let's knock these guys down. If we can. Right. Yeah, the feral is a little bit quicker through the water here. Okay. Let's go and see. Right, there's the feral. It's actually really cool. I might have to try a base like this. There you go. Really, that's not hitting them? Oh, come on, that should be hitting. There you go. There's two. Yeah, that should that should honestly be hitting. Okay. There you go. Knocked him down. Okay. Try and sink some arrows into this guy. Okay. There you go. He's down. He's down. Right, there we go. We can finish off some of these guys quickly. There you go. He's down as well. Yeah, they kind of get, like, one, and then they kind of go somewhere else. It's quite funny. Right. This is the bit of the POI I was most worried about, to be honest, so... There you go, he's out. Right. Right, ready? Yeah, that's silly. That, that, that water mechanic is very silly. There you go, he's got a hit on him. Alright, don't fall in the mines. Don't fall in those mines. Really nice sticking the spikes. There you go, there's one. Okay, we're getting there. There you go, we got him as well. He's down. And we got a couple left. Right, where are those guys going? So one of them is a feral. Got so many of these guys. There we go, he's dead. And he's almost down. I think we nearly, nearly got him. Right, there we go. Yeah, some of this is... Some of this is beyond ridiculous, like the water physics in this. The water mechanics is a little bit ridiculous, but... There we go. Right, now he got past it. I think this one probably breaks, doesn't it? Um, is there any way I can run past here? Right, I'm currently at 146. Right. Huh. Through there. There we go, got it. Right, here we go. Here is the next section. Uh oh. Right, so let's have a look and see. Who is up here? I think I see one. 
Is that one there? Yeah, it's one guy right up there, look. See him? Just there. Dang it, that way. Come on. Oh! Okay. Alright, let's go and try and kill these guys. There we go, knock him down. Alright. Right, okay. We're gonna need this. There we go, got him. Use that. Stop the bleed. Alright, there we go. Little buggers. Right, okay, we got him. Whew! Okay, yeah, that's uh, de definitely uh, definitely useful to have this SMG around. Definitely useful to keep this thing on me. Alright. Is there any more here? Nope. I think we're good. Right, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's use a let's use a pain pill here. Just to get me up. Because you never know, I could get attacked at any moment, so I want to be a bit careful. Let's grab that. Okay. Let me see down here. All right, so we're going to go very carefully through this area. But yeah, the silence SMG would be much better, but currently we're stuck with the with the regular one, so kind of got to stick with that for now, but that's all right. Okay, so we're doing okay on health again. Um, slowly but surely we will recover. Okay, we're getting thirsty. Let me show a red tea on us somewhere, I think. There we go. Drink one of those. That'll help my stamina come back. And we need that for recovery. There we go. So I'll drink, I'll drink two of these. That should help me with the uh, with the pain pills. Okay. So now we got this place. Probably opening that door has probably woken up the sleepers anyway. Um, right, there's one over there. So if I can get him. He's done. Right, so there's one out the way. Let's go and see if we can find any more. So yeah, we got to see what these sleepers are up to. So there's one of them. Uh, right. So now... We've got to see if there's any under there. No, that looks clear over there. So this door is closed. We don't have to worry about being attacked from behind. Although, I'm going to go downwards because... I have a funny feeling there's going to be some behind that wall there. If I remember rightly, there usually is. So right, let's not step on the trash. Hmm, let's go and back up a... Oh yeah, there we go. That's one right there. There we go. Right, make sure no one else is running. Oh crap! Okay. Got him. Right, back up, back up, back up. Right, so he doesn't know where I am now, so I can go ahead and... Take him down. There we go. One dead sleeper. Ah, 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 ah. Right, so let's see. We need to go... Right, now I need to go back up here. So I don't know if there's any in this little section here. Uh, let's go carefully around and see. Is that one there? Yeah, there's one right there. Right, I think he's a feral. Yeah, he must be a feral. There we go. Right. So we got a few shots on him. Right, so yeah, there's a couple of ferals up here, so we've got to be a little careful. How about this little guy? There you are. Knock you down. When he gets back up again, we can headshot him, knock him down again. There you go. A few headshots on that, take out the feral. Very good, there you go. So we're doing alright. So we're yeah, these these night visions are definitely helping me with the sneakiness. Definitely helping me with the sneakiness. Very glad we had that. Can I not pick the arrow up? Okay, no, it's kind of embedded in the ground there, so we can't pick it up. That's all right. Okay. So now I've got to see if there's any more. There's one over there. Now, is there any more in here first? Before? Yes, there are. So that's the thing. There's one in there. So you got to deal with that one. There we go. All right, he's taken out. Two arrows for you. There's another one right there. Okay. Uh oh. Got him. And then we've got this guy over here. Here we go. Got him. And it's morning! There we go. Managed to go ahead and uh, do this one as well. Very, very cool. Um, hang on. 
Did I fail this quest? Something tells me I failed this quest, guys. Tearful fetch. 25.7 meters. Uh, find white river supplies. Oh, no, no, it's, I, haven't, I haven't failed it. Okay, it's just not showing on the, on the thing. Okay, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought I failed it then, because I was like, I was like, I don't hear anything. I was like, hmm. Okay, well, I'm still going to keep the night vision on anyway, because it's nice and bright here. Okay, so this guy's a feral. Right, this guy needs to stay down. Okay. Oh, okay, we got a couple of ferals coming up here. Oh, is he still alive? There you go. He's still alive. Right, so you got a feral, did you go? Oh, I see radiators as well. Okay. We're running back this way. And we are getting some fair distance. And then we're going to take these guys down. Are you a feral or a radiator? You're a feral. Okay. There you go. So you got a couple coming here. Okay, right. You are just a regular. There you go. Right, so you got a radiator one here. So that slow one is keeping the radiator one from coming further. So let's see if we can take this guy out. There's two rads here. Two rads. Okay, uh-oh. Okay, that did not work as well as I intended it to. Okay. There we go. Right, he's down. Okay, come on. Okay, here's one. There's one of them down. Okay, we need to... We need to head upwards, right? I think the... I think the... Oh, nope, the radius one is coming. The radius one is here. Okay. Uh, use this quickly. Alright, and I think we're going to need to SMG this guy. Right. There you go, seize that. There you go, we got him. There you go. Man, there are three three rads down here, I think. Three of them. That is no laughing, that is no laughing matter. Uh, a Z pack, what do you have? Some seal armor and stuff. Man, that was no laughing matter right there. Okay, these guys should be fine though. We can take these guys out easy enough. Man, that was three radiant Zeds. Good thing we had the SMG for emergencies. Right. There you go. Let's kill this guy. There we go. Wow, okay. That was close. That was really close. Right, let's reload this. Good thing this SMG has a ton of ammo capacity as well. Um, all right, let's run through this way. So we are still in need of hydration, so let's drink another one of those. 40 percent hydration, yeah, that'll, uh, that'll be screwing me over slightly. There we go. Yeah, I'm only going at 74% um, efficiency here. Um, so we'll drink two of those. All right, well, that's everything there. That's everything there. So we're going to go and have a quick look in here. Right, is that everyone? Is that everybody? Hmm. Guessing so. I'm guessing that's all of them. Um, that drops down into a lower section, so we don't want to go there. I think that's where the think that's where the good loot is. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I think that's everyone. All right, and we've got to the good loot. We still have to find the the, uh, the the supplies, but we still got to the good loot. So, see what we get in here. Pop and pills box has okay, many empty jars, pretty much. Uh, what 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 you expect to find in the pop and pills box these days is just empty jars. I think they need to revisit that loot just a bit. Because really, you should find more than that. Uh, Mini bike chassis. Don't need that. We can just scrap it. All right. And now we're gonna go in here and let's see what we can find. Man, that was uh, that was a fun little looting thing. And we didn't die this time, so we're doing we're doing better. We we are doing better, which is great. Um, but yeah, currently fortitude has been but has been knocked down to five out of seven. So uh, that also means my healing factor and pain tolerance is uh, a little bit lower than it usually would be. I think we should get, um, okay, we've got one point to spend. What do we do? I think, actually, we're going to go for Cardioid. Uh, or the Stamina. The Stamina one. You guys know what I mean. The, st the Stamina one. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Yeah, that one. Yeah, we're going to go for that. And at least now we got the Steel Pickaxe, we can just hack our way straight through here. And we should be able to find some good stuff. There you go. Right, what have we got in here? We have Titty Shotgun, scrap that, take that, take these, scrap those, scrap those. Nice! So a couple of uh, couple of uh, nice shotgun things. So now all we got to do is find where the hell this um, hidden stash is. So it's saying it's on this level here. So I'm guessing it's somewhere... It's somewhere up here, I think. Let's see. It says it's around here somewhere. Okay, so... When I go up here, it says it's below me, I think. Um, oh, is it in here? 
Ah, I think this might be where it is. Oh, we open that first, actually. Then we come down here. Is this where the stash is at? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So it's saying... Yeah, it's saying it's on this level. Um, although where on this level, I do not know. Because that's where we'd usually come in. Um, if we fell in the in the water bit there, that's where we'd usually drop. Um, okay, so it's not down there, but it's somewhere on this. It's somewhere around here, is what is what it's saying. So I got to see if I can find it. There's a higher section up there. Maybe it's up there. Hang on. Maybe it's up here. Oh, can I jump and reach that? Oh, I can't jump and reach that. Okay, got to jump to there. And there we go. Now I can get up. Okay. Um, so it's saying... Yeah, from this point it says it's lower. Okay, so it's not up here. Okay, let's try not to break our leg again. <laughs> that'll be bad. Yeah, let's try Let's, let's try to do that. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be uh, very handy. Uh, maybe then it is... Ah, I think I know. It could be down here, behind this bit. There it is. There it is. Got it. And done. We now have the trader supplies and we're ready to go. All right, guys. Well, I think we're at a pretty good point. Oh, and there you go. Finally got some duct tape. Right, let's make ourselves a let's make ourselves a splint and get rid of this goddamn broken leg. There you go. Right, well, I think we're at a pretty good point, guys, to go ahead and end off the episode. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end it off right here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. There we go. And we're all fixed up. So until then, bye!